So we're here in beautiful, sunny California. Oh wait, it's kind of raining. It's kind of spitting on me right now. Finally, getting rid of that uh, hot temperature. Um, so we're here, we got our toy hauler. Don't mind the giant mess, um, but you know, this is our new trailer and we didn't get the patio option because it was like extremely expensive and we would have had to buy a brand new trailer. So basically I've got it all blocked up here. I know, super fancy, don't worry about that. Um, blocking it up so I can get measurements because this trailer still has the same frame, the same frame that comes with all the trailers. It's exactly the same. Probably can't see, but I'll get a closer photo of it or video. And there's hooks up top for the carabiners to run the cables down. Um, I've read online and I talked to the dealer and Apparently, it's no big deal. You just drill all the way through, um, get some grade eight bolts, and then run a cable up. And then you just adjust them, and there you go. So I have it completely level, just to get a quick measurement. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it adjustable or not. I'm leaning towards it, the fact that it should be adjustable. Um, so it doesn't really matter that it's level right now, but uh, just, just to give me an idea, get a quick measurement, and then I'm gonna run to Home Depot and get all the supplies. Don't know if you guys could see that, but I'm getting a measurement of roughly 10 feet, so I'll probably buy two 12, 13 foot uh, sections of cable with a couple of strong connections at the top, uh, car carabiner type uh, clips. And then I think at the bottom, we'll see what they have, but I might make it adjustable. Yeah, so that way we can have a patio. And yeah, I mean, the other trailer we looked at was $20,000 more, and we actually liked the layout better uh, on the one that we got. Um, the only difference was, was the patio, a couple other tiny things, but overall we didn't, we didn't seem like it was uh, worth spending an extra 20K just for the patio when I can make it, as you guys can see. So Home Depot on a Saturday is a complete fail, but I'm pretty sure we got everything we needed. So let's see if we can get home and see if this rain holds off to get this project done. Come on, cable. I was looking for some turnbuckles that would support the load that I'm thinking, and Home Depot didn't have any, so for the time being, I'm just gonna put the ramp door at a fixed position um, and if I find that down the road that's something that, you know, maybe if we're on a slight angle or whatever, we need to adjust it. But I mean, if the rig is going to be leveled when we're out boondocking, then I feel like it should be fairly level. So try to finish up this project. Let's see how bad I can mess it up. All right, so here's the game plan. I am going to attach some of these heavy duty chingaderas. I'm gonna bolt all the way through the aluminum. It's aluminum on two sides. Sandwich it through with some grade eight hardware, which I have right here, some grade eight hardware. Then we're gonna use these little cable ties at the top and at the bottom. And then at the bottom here to connect, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these uh, quick links. Quick link? Quick link. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the cable on the upper side uh, using these little, what are they called? Wire rope clips for securing cable with a looped end. Um, we're gonna attach the cable at the top first and then 
Go and then. I don't know. That's where we're going to start, and then we're going to go from there. Next task, I got these two mounted up here. The next task is to attach uh, these heavy duty uh, D rings. They're rated for 3,666 pounds of working load. So we're gonna have two, so that's, that's plenty overkill in my opinion. Um, my plan, my plan is to mount them slightly inbound like this so that they can clear the garage door and then we'll attach our cable here and everything in theory should work out great. Uh, I saw some other people online did different things and whatnot and this to me seemed the simplest. Uh, I'm just gonna go about a foot back and then mount these and bolt completely through the two pieces of alum aluminum and the deck itself. tell I have them bolted up right here and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side the same thing and, and hopefully everything comes out good you get the cable strung through on both ends here um, we are pretty much level could go up a smidge so I'm gonna go ahead and preload the gate a little bit so I want to have the very end slightly above level because once you put all the weight on and you figure cable doesn't really stretch but there's just gonna be more tension on it than I can put right now pulling it tight. So I'm gonna just preload it ever so slightly and then put the connections on and then uh, we'll give it a test. Job is done, besides I gotta trim off the little ends of the cable. I wanted to leave a little slack in case I wanna adjust it. So let's, Jenga, let's di ditch our Jenga. And uh, let's see here, let's give it a test. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. Woo! That's the whole trailer moving. I don't know why it feels so weird. I'm stoked, we have a patio now, it's exciting.